Hey, what's going on, Capricorns? Butch Terror here. <laughs> I don't know why I did that way. Um, I'm going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. And let's get it. Universe. All right, Capricorns. So the first thing I see here is I feel like there's someone that's around you. Now, this is someone I feel like you already know. And I feel like this person has a lot of strong feelings for you. Now, I feel like part of, part of how they feel about you, I feel like you're aware of. But I feel like there's so much more that you're not aware of. Because I feel like they do hide their feelings to a point. And I feel like the reason why they're hiding those feelings is they're keeping them, those feelings submerged and not making you aware of it is because I feel like there's something, you know, I, I feel like there is somebody else that you've been dealing with. You know, we have that devil card and we have three of cups. I feel like there is another person. Uh, this could be an ex or a past person that you still haven't fully got rid of, if that's not the nicest thing I've ever said. But if you, you know, it, there is someone that you're still, that's still in your energy. You know, still somebody that, you know, like I said, it could be a past person that, you know, you haven't quite um, moved on from. Or somebody that from your past that maybe you still have some association with and they're still in your life. But even though it's over, they're still there. They're still taking up a lot of your time. And this person, this other person that, you know, they want to be with you and they want to, you know, share that with you. This person knows they want. You know, this person has a lot of... It had, like I said, this person knows you very well enough to know that they you're what they want. And they're willing to wait for you. They're willing to wait. Because, like I said, they're quite confident. You know, there's a lot of confident energy on this person uh, with that Knight of, or, uh, Knight, of, Knight of Wands. Or King of Wands. <laughs> um and this person has their shit together with that, you know, that King of Pentacles. They see the value that you bring. They see you, they see things in you that other people haven't, especially this past person didn't see. And this person is not going to easily let that go. And they're willing to wait as long as it takes for you to be ready for them. They'll be waiting for you. They are waiting. They have been waiting. And they'll continue to wait. Until they know that the right moment, you know, is before them. But I do see that right moment coming up. And I feel like once once we get to that spot, once you, you end, end all ties and that transformation, you know, trans, you know, the transformation that you're going through, it, it becomes complete. I feel like that this person is picking up on that. And, and once they see that, that's when you're gonna have this person open that communication with you and tell you how they've been feeling. That's when this person is gonna start putting in the work and building. Like they see 
your value. They see what you bring. They see what you can add to their life. And they see what they can add to your life. And once they start communicating with you, once they open up to you, you know, and they start giving, they're a very giving person, very nurturing energy coming from this person. You know, they don't want to come to you when you're not ready. They want to wait till you're absolutely 100% ready before they come to you because they don't want anything to get in the way. You know, very, like I said, very nurturing energy. This person knows they want. You know, some people, they want to be with you and they act on it right away. This is not what this person is doing. This person is taking their time. They see what they want and they're willing to wait because they they truly believe that you're worth it. And we have that earthy side of them that, that's making it logical. You know, it doesn't make any sense to, to pursue someone if they haven't quite let go of, uh, of things from the past. And not to say that you haven't let go of that past person, but maybe that past person hasn't quite let go of you yet. But I feel like there's still some interaction with that past person that's keeping this new person from acting. But like I said, once this person comes forward and, and lets you know how they feel... It, it's gonna get it's gonna come in quick you know you're gonna quickly find that this person is someone that is on the same page i mean we also have that three of pentacles that power couple and it won't be long like once this person gets the idea that you're ready they're gonna go after what they want they're gonna make you an offer and a very genuine offer at that. Like I said, this person, you know, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment to be had here. And I feel like this person is going to make you happy beyond, beyond what you thought was possible. This person wants to take you to places that you never thought you could go. They want to build a foundation with you. They want to build for the future. This person is not someone that's looking just to hit it and quit it. They're not looking for something casual. They made their mind up about you. And once they made their mind up, there was no shake in that. You know, I see a lot of forward movement with this person. We also have the family card. They want to build. They want to build a legacy. They want to, you know, they want to have their cake and eat it too. I mean, this person is a very patient person. From what I can see here, this person is not, like I said, they're not, uh, they're not making a move until they know that, I mean, they're going to be successful. Now, like I said, this is someone that you know, because this person has time, to, had, had, has had time to get to know you. And the more they get to know you, the more they want you. And with that cancer energy, I mean, we this is someone that they don't fall easy, but when they fall, they fall hard. And they fell hard for you. And they'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're successful. You know, it, it's a very logical aspect of this is the fact that, you know, some, like I said, some people... When they want something, they go after it no matter what. No matter what, they're just gung-ho and they go after it. And, and sometimes it can lead to not being successful because of the fact that maybe you weren't ready. This person's waiting until you're 100% ready before they make, them, make their feelings known. But once you're 100% ready, they will make their feelings known. And they will come toward you and they will make you an offer. An offer that you may not want to refuse. <laughs> Like I said, this person's confident, you know, they're passionate. They have their shit together and they believe that with you, the sky's the limit. I mean, they, like I said, they see something in you that no one else has seen. And that's what they're betting their future on. You know, they want someone they can build, grow with. You know, someone that they can share life, life's adventures with. They're not looking for something casual. They're looking for something permanent. This person doesn't invest themselves into something casual. They don't invest themselves into something that doesn't have a future. 
And I feel like secretly they have it all mapped out. You know, they know how it's all going to go. They're just waiting for you, you to give them a green light. <laughs> and with this person, like I said, very passionate, very fiery energy. We have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And we also have that, that mixture of earthy energy, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. And, and we have that emotional sense as well. We have that uh, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio with that, you know, like I said, this is the type of person I feel like they're not overly emotional, but but when they're with you, they give you that side of them. You know, they're very invested when it comes to that side. Uh, they don't show their emotions easy, but once once they commit to someone, it, it comes out quite, quite easily for them. Um, like I said, I do see that communication coming. Once once they see that green light, I mean, they're in. And it ain't going to take them long to make you an offer because they don't want someone else to see what they see. Because once somebody else sees what they see, then they got competition. And that's what, not what this person is looking for. It's quite the opposite. Like I said, they're waiting until you're ready. They don't, they don't want to come to you when you're not ready because this person is a forward thinker. I feel like this person thinks 10 steps ahead. And, and they've had it planned out for a while. And like I said, it's not something new for this person. I mean, you're going to, you know this person. And if you don't know them, they seem to know a lot about you. Because like I said, the more they see, the more they want. But I, I feel like this is someone that you know quite well. And you may be surprised how deeply they feel for you, but... To be honest, I feel like you, you might already know. Because sometimes when we have strong feelings for someone, we think we're hiding it. But apparently, we're not doing a great job because sometimes a lot of people know how we're feeling when we think we're hiding it. Um, you know, we, we think we're doing a good job at keeping our feelings, you know, submerged. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.